looking to see as a potential winner, but we will not be seeing that Sephiroth right off the bat. We are going to be seeing Diddy Kong, and honestly, I agree with this pick 100%, because Giant Sword meets Grenade is usually not in favor of Giant Sword, ask choke players. So we're going to be seeing how this starts off here. Both of them kind of going for a little bit of a zoning game, establishing, like, trying to push them in the corner, but with Banana in hand, you see, like, all Tweak is looking for is just one mistake out of Sensei. Yeah, and it's kind of, it's been a little bit, right, since we've had, like, a good opportunity to talk about some Snake, but Snake, mm -hmm. you know, the game plan hasn't really changed since ever, right? You yeah. want to go for these trades where you have someone try to hit you when you have a grenade in hand, get that damage, you're going to weigh more than them, and over time, it'll end up adding up to your advantage. Just fishing that up to that 160. Yeah, and one thing that can actually be the detriment of Diddy Kongs is that the character can struggle to kill at high percent and so without a banana confirm or, you know, potential spike. But with the weight of, nice. uh, you know, Snake, you got to make sure you get that high damage early because if you're going with the trade war with Snake all the way up, like Snake likes to do, Snake is going to kill with that up tilt significantly earlier as well as that down throw to up tilt at the round 160. Right now, it looks like Sensei's struggling a little bit to get his hits in. Tweak doing a good job of spacing him out, and man, mixing him up with the monkey flips quite a bit, catching Sensei and Shield and getting that command grab damage. Yeah, you can see this a whole like the whole beginning has just been a game of tempo control, right? Mm -hmm. Both of them are like it's we're past the minute plus into the game. Both of them kind of like waiting it out and just seeing like who they can get in. But Tweak has been figuring out there's the small openings and he's getting single hits. However, this is still a scary spot because Nikita is oh, a yeah. very big issue for anybody with a linear recovery, especially with the horizontal one. Oh, and I think right there, Sensei might have wanted to go for the sticky there with that C4. Couldn't quite get close enough this week to actually tag it onto him. But so far, I mean, ooh, FDI almost questionable, but Snake will survive. Yeah, that, that like that's just nice. the equipment in the pockets, because we all know that Snake has got a lot of weight to him. However, another one of those back airs around this point will probably not do, will, will probably do it, and that could have been a command grab to side B, might have killed as well. Hey, now I'm seeing here, nice down tilt there. <laughs> Using it kind of as an anti-air, actually beautiful parry as well. Sensei coming back here, has full rage. I'm thinking an up tilt will almost certainly KO Diddy at this point. Goes for the grab, can't get oh. it, and wow, that was perfect. Talk about that, AJ. Yeah, he looks, it seemed like he was looking for a, a potential read on a spot dodge, because if you get down throw F tilt there, you can die. Oh my god, Tweak <laughs> answering with right back, Damage. but he missed the follow up afterwards. And now F tilt's not gonna do it yet. But you can see, like, Sensei's doing a pretty good job of keeping it, like, even mm -hmm. for the most part. Luckily, I'm, and, nice. and now that down tilt's gonna take it out, 57%, ain't nothing to a snake. But I gotta say, that was off of one conversion. Like, yeah, you're a snake, but let's talk about Tweak's punish game there. That was yeah. crazier than, like, a Jamaican at a college party. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, he was racking up that damage, and you love to see it. He's back in full swing, looking as good as he ever did. Oh, oh. my god, looking as good <laughs> as he ever did. Sit down, be humble. Already caught him at the ledge, and that is one of the biggest things you didn't want to happen. Now he gets him again. He's gonna be looking for a reset off the platform. No, instead, just since I decided to jump out of disadvantage and avoided it, but he's still just getting chased. Oh my goodness, I mean, yeah, you said it fast right here. Sensei trying to get them hits in at 70% on his final stock. He needs to find some sort of comfort on the stage, but Tweak is oh. hunting him with this offstage aggressive play here, throwing out these forward airs. Oh my god. That was, it was near impossible to get out of that. Sensei already used his jump and he got hit back out by the forward air at the end. So once he was forced into that, what do you have to do? You either recover low, go for air dodge, bananas in hand, covers air dodge, you might get spiked. You recover high, hopefully that Tweak, hopefully Tweak misses. Unfortunately for Sensei, though, Tweak was right on the money, caught him on the platform. He knew he was going to go somewhere and he could just react to it. Because again, it's offline, man. Yeah, we can <laughs> react. <laughs> Reaction? Crazy. Did you hear those parries? What is that sound? It's beautiful. I haven't heard that so long. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at this right dodge, here. Like, man. everything about that, you eventually have to air dodge or you have to swing, no matter what. So what does he probably do? You like drop down there, maybe drop down back air. It's a much wider hitbox, but Tweak's sitting there in shield just waiting for it with banana in hand. So if you whip on shield, you're dead anyways. If you hit the shield, well, you can throw items out of shield faster than you can do any sort of aerial, so you get that response as well. If Sensei even decided he wants to fall uh, and bait that he's gonna land on the platform and fall to the ground, we can react to that as well. So yep. really, I mean, all your bases are covered there. Yeah, I will say though, it was very impressive to watch the way the Sensei kept it even in that game. Like, obviously, it kind of got a little bit out of hand after the second stock. Like, once he got spiked, he really couldn't get back in the way he did. But that first stock, he, he, he played to the win condition. Diddy, at high percent, got to approach. He's got to do something. You know what happens when you approach and whiff on a snake? He hits you with the greatest stretch you've ever seen yeah. a man his age hit with that up tilt. And it just off an anti-air. So you want to monkey flip around? I'm going to kick you out of here. I'm hoping that in game two, we'll see some adjustments from Sensei. I think we saw actually, I mean, as you were mentioned before, quite a good few moments 
of him interacting with Tweak in the neutral and actually coming out on top. Yep. But just, you know, once it started to snowball, it was a little bit hard to stop it there. And especially Snake is at that perfect weight where it's going to be susceptible to getting hit by that downer from Diddy off of like a falling nair. Yeah, tell me why this music just like kind of fits this fight right now. It's like it's got that like Michael oh, Bay gosh. extreme explosive oh, stuff. Gosh. Oh, no, you got to recover high yet. You have to recover high. There. Same thing as the last stock. You're forced into a situation you either have to air dodge or recover high because you're afraid that you might get spiked. But Tweak hard read that and called him out. Now this is Tweak with 19% compared oh to before. Gosh. Just like that, man. 22% still on the aggression here. Since I can't find a way down. And this is what we're talking about. Like, Snake is pretty susceptible to being juggled. A lot of yep. times he'll take out those grenades and try to trade. But if he manages to hit his feet, it won't actually cause the grenade to detonate. And you saw earlier, he wants to recover high from offstage because Snakes always want to cover high. They want to drop the different kinds of explosives as they're coming down. But if you're used to that matchup... You gotta mix it up a little bit more. Get some B reverse oh in there. Oh my god. god. He held in, he dodged it that time, but you gotta get away from it again. Banana out of hands is gonna be forced to go to the ledge. Luckily, Cypher got ah. in the way. Oh my goodness. Mix, remix, repeat, run it back. He just caught him with one down tilt, two down tilts. He knew he was gonna air dodge in. And now you're behind three stocks. Yeah, this snowballed quicker than anyone probably could have guessed there. I think Sensei probably a little bit upset with how much out of Hens has gotten. Still going to try to bring it back here. Looking to try to get these hits a little bit late on the grab. Trying to force Tweak into shield, but Tweak just feels very comfortable moving around the stage right now. Right? Yeah. A lot of the times you want to get those forward tilts on shield, whittle it down, but Tweak just has a banana in hand, keeps it pushing. And they finally find, finally find something. And look, Snake has kill power. Snake has yeah. that forward smash. Snake has that forward air. You get a hard call. Prob you have to get Tweak off stage. That's pretty much what your win con needs to be right now. Because outside of that, Tweak took away your trade window. You can't trade with him anymore at this point. You have to ride the you have to ride uh, like to this guy's along with him, and he's got a whole stock to play with. It's like that, getting a lot of damage off of these down tilt conversions. Sensei kind of on his last legs here at 100% while Tweak is fresh on the second stock, just kind of looking for that opening. And the banana once again gets his hit, dashes in, runs out, picks up the banana peel again. Sensei doesn't have an answer here. Yeah, I think the only thing Sensei really has going for him at this point now is like, yeah, you still want to get some grenades out, but probably a lot more down airs out of shield. Sick. But then he air dodged again. He had a real consistent air dodge habit of landing right mm -hmm. in front of Tweak because every time he got pushed off stage, he was getting hit by those jumps. He was getting pushed into disadvantage where it's really uncomfortable. You don't want to deal with that as you got somebody who's crowding you with Snake. It's one of the few spots he's weak in, like you were saying before. Mm -hmm. Landing sometimes can't be an issue for Snake. But all the air dodges in, Tweet kind of caught on to that as we went along. I was very impressed with Sensei at the beginning, but it just, after a big lead like that goes in the favor of not just Tweet, but like Diddy Kong, who has Banana, mm -hmm. just controls the pace of the game so well. He is very, very able. Once he has stage control and banana in hand, like, Diddy shielding becomes scary. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, man, he's in shield. But really, like, if I do anything wrong here, I'm going to be the one who's getting punished. So you really have to play the situation carefully. I think Sensei tried his best with the time that he had. But, you know, it is going to be best of three up until top eight. So you only have so much time to really adapt there and yep. tweak. I mean, Tweak's looking refined, dude. I mean, speaking of refined, you know, as we get ready for the next match, let's go over a couple of those replays on those stocks. You mm -hmm. can see how the way that he controlled the, the like the pace of how he landed. As you see at the beginning here, you know, in this game, it was a few, actually the last stock. So even then, in this last stock, he had an air dodge habit in because obviously Banana was in hand. Maybe he could throw it at that point, right? But you're still in a scary spot because you probably have to drift the ledge. All the stocks prior to that, too, there was a lot of situations like this or like this early one here. He got, I mean, yeah, he got mauled. That's the only way you mix, could put yeah. it. <laughs> I was like, you got to go. You don't have to go high. Like, you can choose to fastball here, but the air dodge really just kind of oh, panicking. Too. I forgot about that. That was actually, that's what conditioned him to go high. Because after you air dodge down to the ledge, you're kind of scared. You just got hit, air dodge down to the ledge. Like, oh, well, you know what? Um, I can't really air dodge there again from this position. Mm -hmm. I have to air. I have to go high. But because he went in a bit early, it was able. Oh. You know, Tweak was able to just kind of follow him along with it, especially with next to zero percent too. Uh, there, any trade you take there is perfectly fine for Tweak. And we just saw the replay of, once again, the dodging in at the ledge there off of the down tilt and Tweak just waiting and executing. And it can be tough, you know. It can yep. be really scary in that scenario uh, to try and get back, especially for a lot of players you'll notice usually have a habit of having their neutral revolve around them starting in a grounded position. Yep. And they just want to rush, rush, rush to get back to the ground so they can feel comfortable again. And if you catch on to that habit... 
It's curtains, man. Yeah, and, you know, Snake being one of the better characters at that anti-rushdown game, for sure, mm -hmm. especially against a lot of disjointed characters, it kind of makes them struggle a bit because your spacing has to be on point. You have to handle the potential of a trading with a grenade and such. But someone like Diddy Kong, where he has his own item, you always have to be wary of that because, like, well, he doesn't have to fully commit on you every single time. He can just toss that at you, bait out an option, and then punish you accordingly mm -hmm. afterwards. So you have to respect that every time you see him staring you down. And I think that's probably what happened towards the tail end of the match because you saw Sensei at the beginning was willing to fight. He was willing to box and like throw hands, but he was on a wider stage. Once he got to small battlefield, he kind of cut the room away from Tweak right. and it actually worked away out. from him in that position. Because I think that, um, I mean, right in the Wi-Fi era, we've had our chances to play with small battlefield, AKA PS2, mm -hmm. but <laughs> not really, <Diet> PS2. <laughs> you know, Diet PS2, <laughs> but you know, we haven't really seen that manifest yet in an offline setting. And you can really, really see how the space can make it feel claustrophobic, especially yep. with Diddy with Banana. Like, of course, if you're Snake, you want to put a C4 on one of those two platforms, completely have like that entire radius covered on the yep. stage, right? But in the same vein, if you don't get a chance to set up, there's not much you can do. Yeah, true enough. Speaking of setup, I know. Look, I know. Chat, please don't get mad at us. 